we're moving into pelvic circles. So taking a slightly wider stance, about shoulder width apart, hands on your hips, relax your shoulders down. You can have a soft bend in your knees if you need to. You're gonna press your hip out to the side, then press forward to the other side and then back. That's considered one round. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds, one direction. So you can go slower or faster, whatever feels good. When you're coming to the side, feel a stretch in the inner thigh, in front of both hip flexors, the other inner thigh, and then maybe a little bit in the back of the legs. So you wanna keep your upper body upright the entire time. Focus on pressing side, back, side, and forward. Good, okay, time's up that way. So just press and keep going the other way, 30 seconds. If one area feels tighter, you can always slow down in that, press, and then keep going. All right, time's up, gotta relax. We're moving into a standing quad stretch. So you're gonna to try to grab one of your ankles. If you can, grab your ankle instead of your foot, but if not, the top of your foot, and you're gonna draw that leg back. We're gonna hold for 30 seconds. Feel free to hold on to something for balance. Ideally, you want your legs relatively close together as we hold. So you're stretching out that quad, the front of the thigh of the bent leg and pulling more of that heel towards your butt if you want to increase the stretch. You can also squeeze the glute of the leg that you're stretching, slight pull back to increase the stretch as well. Just go by how you feel. All right, time's up on that side. We're gonna switch. Again, ankle if you can, top of the foot if not, and hold for 30 seconds. Legs relatively close together, pulling that heel towards your butt, stretching out the front of that thigh. Again, to increase the stretch, squeeze the glute of the leg that we're stretching. All right, time's up, go ahead and relax. We're moving into a high lunge sequence. You're gonna take a step back with one leg, so you're in a lunge position, staying on the ball of the foot. For the first 30 seconds, we're just gonna take our pelvis, tucking our tailbone under. We're gonna hold here for 30 seconds. So you should feel a big stretch right in that hip flexor, the front of the hip of that back leg. And you achieve that by really rotating the pelvis, keeping the chest tall as we hold. to do a little lean back of the torso to increase the stretch, but most of it comes from that hip or those, that pelvis coming under. All right, we're gonna stay in this position for the next 30 seconds. You're gonna keep your hips tucked. We're gonna lower that back heel onto the ground and we're gonna hold. So you should still feel the stretch in the hip flexor, but also now into the calf of that back leg. Chest stays tall as we hold. switch sides, take a step back with the other foot, follow the foot, tucking that tailbone under, rotating the pelvis, we're going to hold for the first 30 seconds. So again, this one is solely focused on the front into that hip flexor.
All right, final 30 seconds. Keep that tailbone tucked. You're gonna drive that back heel down as far as you can, feeling a stretch in the calf of that back leg, still feeling it in that hip flexor as well. Awesome, okay, time's up. Go ahead and relax, back on your mat. We're moving into a low lunge to lizard. So you're gonna come onto your mat, kneeling onto the back knee with your toes tucked under, and then the other leg is just out foot flat, knee over ankle. From here, rotating hips under and pressing forward for the first 30 seconds. So feeling a stretch in the hip and all the way down that quad, keeping the torso nice and tall. All right, from here, we're gonna toe heel that front foot out so it's angled about a 45 degree. Release that back foot so it's flat on the ground and then slowly come right down so your hands are on the ground and you're letting that hip press for 30 seconds. Again, feel free to have a mat or a towel underneath your knee for a little bit of extra cushion. So now we're really opening up in the groin and that back hip. All right, time's up. Let's go ahead and come up. We're gonna switch sides. So kneeling on that back knee, toes tucked under, front foot flat, hips tucked and pressing forward, torso tall. First 30 seconds is that low lunge. All right, toe heel, that front foot out, about a 45. Release that back foot and slowly come down, letting that hip press down towards the mat for 30 seconds. Get to again feeling a big stretch at the inner thighs, the groin, and that back hip. All right, time's up. Go ahead and relax, back on your mat. We're moving into leg circles. So you will need your strap. So you're gonna lie right back onto the ground and then feel free to lift up. You're gonna hook the strap onto one of your feet, grabbing either side, relax the other leg straight, flex the toes to your shins. We're gonna make small circles to start, progressively getting larger, one direction for 30 seconds, then we'll switch ways. So starting out nice and small. So we're really loosening up and opening up the hip, using the straps to guide you, and then progressively getting larger as we go. So towards the end of that 30 seconds, you should be doing really big circles. Good, so feeling it open up in the hip and the groin as you come out, and maybe the side of that leg as it falls inward. All right, time's up going that way. So start back small, going the other direction. Keeping those toes pulled up towards the shin. And again, progressively getting bigger.
All right, time's up on that side. So go ahead and unhook your foot, switch to the other side, relaxing that other leg down. Again, starting one direction, small circles over that 30 seconds, getting bigger. So focus on the circles coming from the hip. So you want a nice straight leg, again, using the straps to help, help guide you. All right, time's up, so go the other way. Last 30 seconds. All right, time's up. Go ahead and unhook your foot, sit up and relax. We're moving into child's pose circles. So you're gonna come onto your mat, bringing your toes or your feet together and your knees nice and wide. Walking the hands forward and then sitting back, hips back onto the feet. Then you're gonna press forward, bringing your hips off to one side, then driving them down to the other side and then back. We're gonna repeat this movement for 30 seconds. So you're gonna feel the inner thighs and then the groin and the hip flexors, back to the inner thigh, and then back to center. So your torso is moving, but our focus is on the hips as we press them to the side, forward, side, and back. All right, now we're gonna go the other way. So side, forward, side, and back for 30 seconds. Take your time, there's no rush. If one spot feels tighter, you can hold before you keep moving. All right, time's up. Go to relax, back on your mat. Next, we're gonna roll out the hip flexors. So grabbing your foam roller, placing it to the outside, like so it's on the leg that we're gonna do first. So you're gonna feel for your hip bone and it's gonna be placed just below that. You don't actually wanna roll over the hip bone, but just below it. Hands for support, other knee is out, almost like in a frog position. And you're simply gonna move your body up just an inch or two and then back down to where you started for 45 seconds. So you can transfer slightly, pushing your weight a little bit more on the outside so that you get into it, just kind of depending on where you feel it the most. But again, it's a very small range of motion. And again, you're not gonna wanna roll over your actual hip bone. All right, time's up on that side. We're gonna switch. Again, feel for your hip bone and then place it right below. Hands for support, other knee out. Again, 45 seconds.
All right, time's up. Go ahead and relax back on your mat. Next, we're gonna roll up the quads, this time one at a time. So just that shorter foam roller, if you have it, you're gonna place it under one of your legs, starting right at the base, just above the knee, coming onto your forearms. That other leg should just be kickstand out, knee and foot on the ground for support. Slowly pressing your weight back, rolling it up your quad, and then pulling your weight forward back down for one minute. Keeping those toes flexed to the shin. Now on this one, as you go, feel free to kind of transfer your weight. So you're going a little bit more on the outside and back to center. And then the next roll, you can transfer a little bit on the inside. Feel free to shuffle around whatever helps you get into those angles. And if there's a really tender spot, you can always sit on it and even move your leg back and forth and then kind of continue on. If it's really tender, you can bring that leg that's supporting kind of in more to put a little bit more weight onto it and take a little bit off of that foam roller as well. I'm just going slowly. All right, time's up on that side. So we're gonna switch. Again, one minute. Keeping the toes flexed to the shin of the side that you're doing. Side, to the center and a little bit on the inside there as well. Time's up, gonna release, and then relax back on your mat. 